Right in the back, buddy. Right here. Right here. <laughs> You're pretty much <laughs> Take me out for some hot dogs. All right, everybody. You know, we're sitting at a baseball stadium, and you know, the hot dogs at baseball stadiums are kind of underwhelming. One day in 1945, a man named Gene was sitting at Wrigley Field, looked at the hot dog and said, I can do better. And then he formed a partnership with Jude and they made Gene and Jude's Hot Dogs, a Chicago institution. You know, at this place, they don't even have ketchup. They don't even offer ketchup. Next door, there's a McDonald's that they now charge people like 50 cents to get ketchup packets because they have to go to McDonald's to get ketchup. Because Gene and Jude's knows that ketchup is a no-no on a hot dog. Now it's time to face the true test. What will it score in the Frank the Tank baseball hot dog judging? We're raw dogging Chicago! We're raw dogging on the road! We're raw dogging at Gene and Jude's. They eliminated Rutt's Hut in the first round by Jimmy Buffs. And you've had Jimmy Buffs, right? Yeah, I like both of them. But Jimmy Buffs isn't even the best of time in the hot dog place in New Jersey. So yeah, I'll get the, uh, the double dog with fries. Plain, nothing on it. Let's go try this bad boy out. All right. Gene and Jude's has a lot of similarities to Rutt's Hut. People come, they have no real, they have no dining area. You have counters that people can eat at in normal times, but those aren't open at the moment. Right now, you have to take it outside and it's like you're at a football game and tailgating, just like Rutt's Hut. You know, you go to Rutt's Hut, the end thing to do is to take it to your car and eat in the parking lot, talk to your neighbors, and compare hot dogs, but well, we'll see if Gene and Jude's measures up anywhere near Rutt's Hut. You know, people have given Gene and Jude's the best, the moniker, best hot dog in America. Rachel Ray gave it that. Of course, she eliminated Rutt's Hut in the first round, so she doesn't know what she's talking about. But, let's see, I ordered the double dog with fries. And of course, they don't have ketchup here. They banned ketchup. And uh, McDonald's next door now charges people for ketchup packets because of that. <laughs> <laughs> and look at these fries. They were cutting the fries right before our eyes. They got a nice steamed bun. They got the, the combination of uh, the ones that have like real bite. They're probably partially grilled and partially uh, dirty water dogs. So here it is, the double dog. Got a little bit of a combination of the uh, Italian hot dog, although these are not the Italian hot dog style. And it's on a regular bun. It's not even the famous Chicago sesame seed or seeded bun. This is a regular hot dog bun. So here we go.
Raise the apple, we got a home run right here. You know? It's a grand slam. If you're in Chicago, this is a place you must visit. This is not just a place that's really good, got great hot dogs. This is a hot dog place that you now have to put on your list of hot dogs that are must visits and you go out of your way to get. This hot dog, the fries are great. The hot dog great and I got the double dog. I double dog you dare ya. I mean, it's the Vienna sausage, the Vienna beef, and the way they cooked it, this is like a natural casing. You know what like natural, when you get the natural casing hot dogs, they're just better. Mm. And the fries, the fries are perfect. The atmosphere, the classicness, look at this place. It's, a, it's absolutely perfect. I mean, this has to immediately be one of the top hot dogs I've ever tried. You know, when you get to a hot dog place that is so special, you want to go back again and again and again. And you know, I don't live in Chicago. But you know, that train is coming here specifically to get these hot dogs. Wood boots! Gene and Jude's, I mean, they couldn't be any better. Those potatoes, the hot dogs were cooked perfectly, the bun was perfect, everything was perfect, the atmosphere was perfect. Eating outside, because it's, look at this, the people lined up for 20 minutes for a hot dog. Who lines up for 20 minutes for a hot dog? Unless it's the absolute fucking best. Now, you know, I got my all personal favorites, but now this is on that list. Gene and Jude's is great, a great place to go raw dogging, and you go to Gene and Jude and bring this shirt with you. Yes, you can buy this shirt. Buy this shirt and then go to Gene and Jude's. I mean, go to the Barstool store, you can get this, this shirt. And of course, click like, subscribe, and leave comments down below of other places you want me to go. Yes, I'm on the road now, baby, and I'm going everywhere and anywhere to try some hot dogs and find places that are great, just like Gene and Jude's. Take me out for some hot dogs. Get me one that's only plain. No mustard or her ketchup. I'll know what the dog is really about. And it's hope that this is a good one. Maybe a home run or a double. But if it sucks, it will be a strikeout and not worthy of my taste buds. <laughs> <laughs> I thought these guys were the people who have already gotten their order. Shoot. <laughs>